Hey guys, this is me Padma from Programmies and welcome back to this series on C programming. In this video, we will learn about C operators and how to use them with various types of data. More specifically, we will look into arithmetic operators. So let's get started. In C programming, an operator is a special symbol that is used to perform operations on values and variables. We have already used one operator many times in our program without even realizing it's the equal to operator. This is an assignment operator that assigns the value to a variable. For example, int is equals to 24. Here, value 24 is assigned to the is variable. There are many other assignment operators, but before we learn about them, let's first learn about arithmetic operators. Arithmetic operators are basic operators like plus and minus that allow us to perform arithmetic operations. Here is the list of all arithmetic operators available in C programming. Before we start, let me first copy all the arithmetic operators in the code editor. Now we will learn about these operators next. Let's start with addition operator. The addition operator represented by the plus symbol adds two values or variables. Let's see an example. Here is a basic outline of a C program. Now I'll create a variable, say x, int x equals to 12. Then I'll do something like int result equals x plus 8. And I'll print this using printf function, printf bracket inside quotation percent t comma result. Now let me run this code. As you can see 20 is printed. So what's happening here is value 8 is added to the value of x which is equals to 12 and they are added by the addition operator and the equal to operator is storing the result in the result variable. And then when I print the result, I get 12 plus 8 which is equals to 20. Instead of storing the result in a variable, I can simply print the result. For this, I'll remove the result variable. So inside the print statement, I'll add here x plus 8 instead of result and I'll run this and as before we can see 20 is printed on the screen but personally I would like to use the variable it makes the code much more elegant and organized so I'll revert back to my previous code and I'll put here result as before we can also use the addition operator to perform addition of two floating point numbers let's see an example I'll change the int variable to double double and int result to double result and I'll assign a floating point number so I'll make this 12 to 12.57 then we will add x variable with another floating point number say 8.67 since I am adding two floating point numbers the result will also be floating point number so I'll change the data type of result to double using percent %lf format specifier and I'll put 0.2 before lf so that we can print the double value up to two decimal places. Now let me run this code. Now as you can see we get double result 21.24 as an output. We can also add a double variable and an int variable using addition operator. I'll use the same code and create an int variable y int y equals 8. So I have assigned an int variable with a value 8 to it. Now in the place of 8.67 I'll use y variable. Now let's run this code. As you can see I get an output 20.57. When we add a floating point number with a whole number, the whole number is converted into a floating point number. Hence we get a floating point number as a result. Similarly, we can perform subtraction and multiplication using minus and asterisk operator respectively. Go ahead and try it by yourself and leave your code in the comment below. By the way, if you are watching this, there is a good chance you want to improve your skills in C programming. Lucky for you, we have a mobile app that provides a well-structured C programming course with certification at the end. And you can use the app alongside the video 
to practice on the built-in compiler. Our course is free, so download now by scanning this QR code or click the link in the video description. In computer programming, the division operator works differently when used with integers and floating point number. So let's first see how it works for integer. I'll create an int variable x and assign a value 12 to this. And let's create an int result and assign x divided by 8. And I'll print this using printf function inside quotation percent d comma result. Here you can see I have used forward slash for the division and notice I have used only the integer values for this. Now let me run this code. As you can see, I get 1 as an output. However, 12 divided by 8 should give 1.5, but we got 1 because the division operator when used with integers gives only the quotient value. Now, to get the exact result, we use division operator with floating point number. Let me change this variable to double type. So I'll change int x to double x and int result to double result. Then I'll make this integer value 12 to floating point value and I'll change this 8 to 8.00. Here I have changed the data type of x to double and assigned the value 12.00 instead of 12 and I changed the value of 8 to 8.00 and since the result will be a floating point number I changed the data type of result to double for that I'll do percent %LF and I'll put here 0.2 so that we'll get the output up to two decimal places. Now I'll run this code you can see the expected output 1.50 is printed. We know that the division operator gives quotients when used with integer data. Now if we need to find the remainder after division, we use the remainder operator. It is also called modulus operator. Let's use the earlier code. I'll replace this division operator with modulus operator and I'll run this. You can see I get 4 as an output because when we divide 12 by 8, the remainder is 4. The remainder operator can only be used with integer data. If you use it with floating point numbers, you will get an error. Go ahead and try it yourself. Okay guys, we need your support to keep these types of content free for all users. YouTube really likes engagement on the video, so leave a comment below, press that like button and hit subscribe if you haven't already. Let's get the engagement score high up so that more people can discover and enjoy these courses. So far, we have covered some of the basic operations. Now let's learn about the increment and decrement operator. The increment is used to increase a value by 1. Similarly, decrement operator is used to decrease the value by 1. We use the plus sign as an increment operator and minus sign as a decrement operator. Let's see an example. Here I have a variable with value 12. Now inside the print statement, I'll print the variable with increment operator. So I'll add here plus plus. As you can see, I have used plus plus with x. Now let's run this code. As expected, the plus plus sign increases the value of x by 1 and we get 13 as an output. Similarly, we can use the decrement operator to decrease the value by 1. Let's see an example. In this same code, instead of plus plus, I'll use minus minus in front of x and I'll run this again. As you can see, value is decreased to 11. Here I have shown you example of prefix increment and prefix decrement of variable. However, we can also use it after the variable in a postfix form like x plus plus for increment and x minus minus for decrement. They work in a similar manner, but there is one small difference between them. If you want to learn how they work differently, you can visit the tutorial in our website programis.com. The link is in the video description below. So far, we have been using single operator in an expression. However, there might be a case where we have to use multiple operators in a single expression. Let me show you an example. So in our previous example, I'll change this value of x equals to 12 to 4 divided by 2 plus c. 
6 multiplied by 5 and will minus 1 and we will print this using printf function. Now let us run this. Here the output is 31. This is because the division operator is executed first. Then the multiplication is executed. Then the addition is performed between the result of division and multiplication. And finally, minus operator is executed. That means 4 divided by 2 equals to 2. 6 multiplied by 5 is 30. And 2 plus 30 equals to 32 minus 1 equals to 31. So that is our output. Now the main question is why division is executed first? Well, this is due to the concept called precedence and associativity. Operators with higher precedence are executed first and operators with lower precedence are executed last. Here the division has higher precedence than addition and subtraction. So we will learn about this in later videos. Before we move ahead, one quick tip for you. We should build a habit of using parentheses to make it easier to understand the code. For example, in my previous code, I'll add parentheses like, here I'll add parentheses between 4 and 2 and I'll add another parentheses between 6 and 5. Now you can see our code is much more organized than before. Now that we are at the end of this video, it's time for programming squeeze. What is the value of x in the following code? Comment your answer below and see you in the next video. Happy programming!